So I had the good fortune to come across a handmade German Black Forest original cuckoo clock. It uh, had a few problems, but I was able to repair it, and it is now 100% functional and hanging at the end of my hallway. I'm really excited about it, and it is super cool. I'm gonna show you around. All right, so I've got her mounted on the wall, and I think she looks lovely there. It's a nice interest piece for this area. And so we can see the little pendulum sticking. The way you wind it is by lifting these. Each one controls a different function. And then you've got these birds here. This one's attached to the left bellow. And this one's attached to the right bellow. You hear the little whistle there. And the little bellows exhaust right here on the sides. This is an on-off switch, so you can turn the functions on or off. Turn on the turn the whistle function on and off. And then you've got your little carousel with your people spinning on it. And your little door up here for your little cuckoo bird. He just pops right out of there. All right, so we've cracked the back open and we can see the internal mechanism. It is wonderfully made. So back here is the clock mechanism itself. And up here we can see the, the rotisserie for the little German dancers up at the top. That's powered by this weight on the right. And we can see the music box here, which is powered by yet another weight. And the clock mechanism itself is powered by a third weight. These are the cuckoo bellows here. So these are activated here. And there's one on each side. Those are tied to the little birds on the front, so they bob up and down. This is the chime striker here. And you can see the cuckoo up in the very top. And this little wire here makes him bob up and down as he pops out. It's just beautifully made. This is your little sounding box here that tunes the actual cuckoo or the whistle. This is simply just a whistle and they're blowing on it with this bellow. And out the side here. And this is the switch that turns it, turns all of the noise making functions on or off. So that's the internals. Super cool. So I'm hung it on my countertop here so I can let you see how the insides look while it's operational. So we're going to take the acorn weights and we're going to hang them on the chain hooks. And then we need to hang the pendulum. Let me catch it. <laughs> it's moving on me. Alright, there you are. And now, make sure we're not rubbing. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so you can see the pendulum action there. And that's powered by this center weight. Actually, make it Click a little faster if we pull down on that. So let me get the, I'm gonna go to the half hour. It does a single cuckoo at the half hour. And then it plays a song. You see this weight dropping. to put it in silent mode. That way it doesn't trigger every time because you can't move it while it's going through its little process. And we get all the way back around to noon, so we'll have 12 cuckoos. 
And then I'm going to, okay, so we've got the clock ready to go. I'm going to rotate it around to get a better position here. We can see everything. See the bell is moving. This is a little chime here for the gong in the back. You can see the music box playing. It's a beautiful music box. And that's 12 from the inside. Okay, so we've got her back on the wall. We can see the little birds on either side. These are the ones attached to the bellows. A little cuckoo, a little hideout up there. The dancing Germans on their rotisserie. The weights that power everything. Three different weights. The way you wind it is simply by lifting those. You do have to wind this one every day. So let's advance the time to noon. Prevent that from descending, we stop the music. And that's how she works. A Black Forest original cuckoo clock, fully restored. <laughs>